Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Mile IQ, doing a Mile IQ app review, we're taking a look at the pros and cons, pricing, and really everything you need to know when you're taking a look at Mile IQ in order to do automatic mileage tracking, whether it's for business or for personal reimbursements as well, and whether you're an individual or a team looking to maybe manage a fleet of different people needing to track their miles. That's going to be getting into here in today's video. Now, before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention, if you do want to check out Mile IQ, you can go ahead and download the app for free at that first link down below in the description box. Again, that's that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Mile IQ. We'll take you right over to the Mile IQ download page to where you can download the app no matter what device you're on. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Now, of course, I have mentioned Mile IQ previously on my overall, you know, seven best automatic mileage trackers for tracking your miles. Again, no matter if you are maybe running a side hustle, you have your own small business, you're looking to do it just for yourself. Again, even for tracking your miles for a tax deduction, or if you're looking to do it to get those reimbursements uh, done through your work, or again, it depends on whatever your situation is. My IQ does have a way to break that down again, no matter how or why you need to track your miles. So again, uh, I did mention them in that video. So I have compared a lot of the different software uh, in this category here for small business owners. Again, I have a lot of different content on the channel going over accounting software and really tracking your miles definitely fits right within that wheelhouse because it is important for you to actually track your miles so you can actually get uh, those tax deductions or even just get those reimbursements for the miles that you are driving for work and for business. Again, individual or team will be breaking down more specifics later in this video. Uh, but as a general overview, again, Mile IQ is an automatic mileage tracker. So essentially you turn on the app uh, and you will automatically track your miles and you're given a certain amount for free. We'll get into pricing in a little bit here in terms of more of the specifics there. Uh, but essentially this allows you to automatically track your miles uh, so that when you're driving, you know, those miles are then tracked for, again, you can delineate it or separate it between personal or business as well. Uh, so similar to how a lot of the other sort of, you know, accounting softwares work where you can, you know, if you're, if you don't have it all set up with separate bank accounts, like if you don't have a separate vehicle uh, in this situation with cars and, and mileage tracking, if you don't have a separate vehicle for work, say you maybe do use, you know, your own personal vehicle uh, for work travel, again, whether that's a small business or for an actual job as well, this is basically essentially the same difference so that you can uh, split it out a little differently. But basically, is this for personal or for business use? Again, this is great if you don't have a vehicle um, that's completely 100% dedicated to business use. Um, this is great for um, maybe real estate agents where some of the time you're just doing your own personal driving and other times, you know, you're doing business driving. You're going to sh open houses, things like that. Uh, maybe you have a lawn care business and you use your truck for personal time uh, when you're not cutting lawns or something like that. And when you go to cut lawns, you you turn it on for business. So uh, that's a great way to distinguish um, when you're using the same vehicle for both personal and business. Again, similar to how like accounting software works with um, a personal bank account or separating things out with business. Uh, so this is a great uh, tool that they have within the app. So it makes it much easier for you to separate them out. Now, the one downside I'll say within that is that, you know, when you do have the app on, it is tracking and using those drives. So that is something, you know, worth considering considering uh, when you're looking at, you know, how many free drives you're getting. Uh, so, you know, most of you guys who are signing up for MyLIQ, you probably would want to use the paid version. So you have unlimited drives. That is something worth keeping in mind uh, when you're taking a look at an app like MyLIQ is just the overall drives and how that's tracked and logged uh, and making sure that, you know, uh, you, you have enough drives available to you. Again, We'll get into pricing specifics in a little bit here, uh, but this does help you, you know, track your miles so that you can keep a, a better dial on things. So you're not having to sit there and log your odometer readings or things like that. It does give you uh, the straight up dollar amounts logged as well. This is fantastic if maybe you are a small business owner 
and you didn't even know that you, you know, your mileage and your driving is worth money, uh, that's a huge tax deduction that you could be using um, to save yourself money on your taxes uh, when tax time comes around and just so you're making sure that you're actually logging those expenses within your business. Because again, driving uh, within itself, the mileage, you know, everything is sort of worked in there uh, within the IRS guidelines. So they do have it calculated out here. Um, I'll get into some of the other aspects here. Uh, but they do have like the, as you can see here, you can set custom mileage rates. Uh, right now in this current year, when you're watching this video, it's currently 67 cents per mile. Uh, and that's the tax compliant mileage rates. You can also set your own custom rates if you wish. Um, that's up to you, but it's definitely important to, to make sure that you're actually, you know, getting that, you know, as you can see here, worth $4.22. You know, all the driving that you do for business or for work is all um, worth money as well. So it's, it's important that you actually track it accurately. Uh, and the nice thing about an app like MileIQ too, especially if you are maybe running a, a Teams report, uh, maybe if you are, you know, you do have multiple people driving in your business, then they can send you those reports and it can all be logged within the Teams uh, report as well. Uh, which is very nice. You can also add multiple different vehicles. So maybe you do different vehicles for different things, something like that. Or maybe if you um, have multiple vehicles within a fleet within your business, uh, you can also do that as well. So you can track the mileage separately. Uh, you can set certain locations as well. So maybe like, you know, home, office, gym, things like that. Uh, they do also have work hours. So you can set that there inside the app as well. Uh, and they are obviously, as you see, on the number one mileage tracking app, they are very popular. Uh, obviously as a mileage tracker app. Um, so you can easily, you know, separate between personal and business. And besides that, again, like I said, no, no pen and paper needed. They, you know, classify the, the, the drives and get reimbursed um, or to save money on your taxes. Now, in terms of the pricing, because I know a lot of you guys are interested in, hey, how does it differentiate between individuals and teams? Uh, and how does that work, right? So if we take a look here, and this, again, this pricing is accurate as the making of today's video. Be sure to check out the most realist, uh, updated pricing pages to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing because pricing is always subject to change. I always have to say that in every video because it is what it is. Uh, so currently, of course, they do have the individuals and the teams version. So they do have a free version. So you can get started for free and download the app for free. You get up to 40 free drives every month. I will say again, this does get pretty much dinged each drive. Uh, so just bear that in mind if you have the app turned on or off. Um, it can, you know, if you're trying to be cheap and save money, um, you have to be pretty stringent in terms of how you use your drives, because if you're constantly starting and stopping, you're going to burn through those 40 drives very quickly. Um, so that is something worth considering. That's more so on you. Um, but again, even on their unlimited plan at $5 per month build annually, not too bad as well. So if you look at it, you know, the per month or the build, um, if you're billed monthly, it is a little bit more expensive versus being billed uh, annually. You save, you know, a dollar a month, as you can see there in that price difference. Um, so, you know, in there, you also have the automatic tra uh, miles tracking and the easy reporting is just basically the difference between do you have unlimited drives or, or, or limited drives um, really between those two. Now, in terms of the Teams version, this is more so, again, if you are a small business owner, you are running a company, again, most of you guys watching this video probably aren't in this situation, but it is something worth considering. Maybe if you are, again, a lot of people, you know, watching my videos, watching my channel are small business owners. So again, if you do have like a lawn care business or something like that, uh, you can set things up. So where you can use it like a Teams version, this is sort of similar to a lot of the expense management software. I do mention those on other videos here on the channel. A lot of like accounting software and expense management software do have a version of mileage tracking. Uh, but if you do want just 100% a mileage tracking dedicated app, MileIQ is definitely what I would personally recommend over even a lot of the other expense tracking apps if that's sort of where you're going at. Uh, if you want something just 100% dedicated for mileage tracking, again, it depends on your business as which might be better for you. Um, but that's generally like, if you want something dedicated to it, it's best to go, you know, with that first, like what they lead with first, essentially my IQ, that's what they lead with. So um, in terms of their team's plans, again, you, they do break it out on per user build monthly. So very similar to the individual rate, um, but basically just split out on a per user. Uh, they do have more advanced uh, reporting, such as, you know, if you, if you need 
um, to approve or reject drives. If you have multiple admins, you know, you can go all the way up here, uh, different integrations, automatic reporting. So if you have a lot of team members or you have multiple people driving for you, uh, then it would probably make sense to go with like a Teams Pro version or something like that. Um, again, per seat, still not bad compared to a lot of other uh, software as a service companies are tend to be even a lot more expensive than that. Um, so really not too bad. And as you can see here, you can approve the drives and, you know, ultimately save money on all of the, the payroll hours and going through uh, and, and, and managing that if you're just doing it through the mileage tracker app within itself. Uh, so overall, you know, MileIQ, definitely another great automatic mileage tracking app. Again, I haven't mentioned them in uh, in my best of video. I definitely would recommend giving them a shot, at least trying them out. I'll say their app definitely has some of the best UI and UX in the market in terms of how easy and simple it is uh, to use. Um, and yeah, just definitely would recommend giving them a shot, trying them out. Again, if you are interested in my IQ, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description box. Again, that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash my IQ. We'll take you right over to the download page where you can get started with my IQ again today for free. You can download the app with their free version. So overall, you know, I would definitely recommend giving them a shot. It is very nice to be able to separate uh, the drives and it's really not that expensive, especially when you compare it to a lot of the other expensive management softwares that are out there that are kind of focused on a lot of different things. Whereas again, if maybe if you're just doing this as a side hustle, you want to keep track of your miles or for your business, mile IQ definitely makes it a lot easier. So you're actually getting that money back. And so when you go to file your taxes, you have that data right there, ready to export it on a month by month basis or at a yearly basis as well. All of it is tracked within the app. So again, guys, if you found this video helpful, thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.